What's poppin', yo? This is your boy, Don P. The ape in the flesh, baby. Bringing you another game of Call of Duty World War II. I'm the only, the only beast on this mother playing this game, bro. Like, nobody wants to play Call of Duty no more, especially this game, man. Uh, a lot of hate. A lot of hate, man. But me personally, man, I, um, I got my my disappointments and but i i have a lot of good times too man so i i, I I'm, i'm i'm still playing you know i'm still playing i'm using the the nembu on this in this gameplays i'm using the new smg nembu it's a beast man that gun is a beast it's a beast man but we're not going to talk about that right now man we're going to talk about some nba basketball man Everybody knows that LeBron James went to the Lakers, and uh, there's a lot of noise has been in the news for about a month or so, ever since the uh, the playoffs were over with. You know, speculations where the LeBron was going to go, and and finally the you know the news break break that uh, broke down that broke out that he was going to go to the Lakers, and there's a lot of noise about how the lakers are going to finish you know a lot of people are saying that the lakers need to make a big push you know make make a big trade trying to get a, another big time player in there and um and uh you know it's just a lot of noise man uh some people say they should get rid of a lot of the young talent that the lakers have just to just to uh give lebron a a fighting chance to get to the finals, you know, or uh, uh, to beat, you know, the Golden State Warriors. And I'm, si I'm sitting here and thinking to myself, I say, you know, I, the Cavaliers was a pretty awful team uh, without LeBron. Uh, they weren't that great. LeBron was the really the the lifeline for that team. So, uh. I don't understand how is the Lakers worse than the Cavaliers. It can be. So I, I went into the new NBA website and I looked at some stats from last year. Now, looking through the stats from last year, I looked through the uh, Cavaliers stats and it's, through the stats I can see that, you know, The Cavaliers averaged about 110 points uh, throughout the season. It's a pretty good numbers. Uh, they got a 50 win to 32 losses. That's pretty good. You know, that's pretty good. Uh, then I went to the Lakers, and now uh, looking at the Lakers, and I see that the Lakers averaged 108 points. 108 points in the, throughout the season. And they finish with, um, let me see, let me scroll down a little bit, see if I can pull that out. They finish with a 35-47 record, which is a losing record. Now, mind you that the Cavaliers was playing in a weaker division and a weaker, um, yeah, in a weaker um uh, conference which is the east coast conference the lakers have more competition um in, with the planning uh, out of the west now another thing that we need to point out that is very important that 110 points that the cavaliers was averaging lebron was averaging 27.5 points that's almost 30 points uh, per game uh and sometimes he would go off and score 40 plus So a lot of those points were LeBron points. If you take away 27 points out of that 110 points average, the Cavaliers come out about what? 110, 110, about, uh, they come out about 80 percentage, the, the rest of the team, just about, about, about 80, yeah, maybe. Uh, uh, My math is not good. Uh, let me see. Um, do, 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 about 70. 70? No, 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 no. My bad. They will average about... 
about 90, about 85 to 90 points a game. Now the t Lakers in a in a stronger in a stronger division, the whole team was averaging 108 points. That's no LeBron in there. That's the team. That's the Laker team. 108 points. You take the the Le the LeBron off the Cavaliers, and that's a 80, maybe 70 points team in a weaker conference. You you get my my grip? Like if you keep the young guys that the Lakers have right now, don't trade nobody in, and you plug in LeBron James, dude. You're looking at a team that is sure average about 125 to 130 points per game. If they if if the Lakers can average the same points that they averaged last year, you adding up to it by putting LeBron in the team. Now that sounds pretty competitive to me. A team that can average 100 and to 20 to 130 points per game, that's pretty fucking competitive. So I don't understand where this hate comes about. Talking about the Lakers are not going to make the playoffs. Are you fucking kidding me? The Lakers, that young squad can score points. Look at the average. Look at what they was averaging last year. And you just adding to that, which is, you know, so I don't understand where the hate comes from. You know what I'm saying? Now, on top of that, Magic Johnson added some defensive-minded players that they can at least put a, a, a bit of a, a, a roadblock when they play teams like, you know, Houston and teams like when they go play uh, the Warriors. You got you got Rondo. You got, you got Stevenson. You got players there that are defensive-minded players that can... Uh, 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 make it a little bit harder for the Warriors to score. So I don't get it, man. Like maybe somebody can explain to me this in the in the comments. You know, the Lakers are better now than they were last year. Last year they were averaging a hundred a hundred and eight points per game. Adding LeBron James, that's extra thirty points. Are you are you serious, bruh? The Lakers should average at least 120 per game, bruh. And you tell me that's not enough to beat the Warriors? Get the fuck out of here, dude. The Warriors are known for taking back for taking time off during the season, bruh. They don't they don't say I, I think the Lakers are gonna finish uh if like I say, if they can average the same point average. If you keep the, don't trade off nobody. You could add a, adding players, one year contract, just like you've been doing. Add up players. Don't trade in nobody. Add up some defense, defensive minded players, to the roster without giving up what you already have. And you and you and you said, the Lakers should finish if the war. The Lakers should finish second. In the West, man. Real talk. They should finish second in the West. Houston is not that good anymore. They got rid of Ariza. Okay? They got rid of another uh, big time player that I forgot who it was. Do do they they're not as they're not gonna be as good this year as, uh, as they were last year, bruh. Lakers is gonna take that spot. Best believe the Lakers are gonna take that spot. And don't get me wrong, I'm not I, I'm not a Laker fan. I'm I'm a Knicks fan, you know. Which they they which they should. And by the way, the Knicks keep your eye on the Knicks, man. They are coming back. That 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 rookie that they drive, man. That joke is the truth, man. That joke is the truth. You feel me? But I don't understand this hate and and this pessimistic uh, view. Of the Lakers, man. Because if anything, the Lakers should average 120 to 130 points per game. Real talk. Real talk, man. So, I'm rolling for them, man. I hope that the Lakers, man, they do well. And they shut down all this stupid noise, man. Because it really made no sense, man. Like I say, 
If that team averaged the same points that they averaged last year, they should finish second out of the West. Anyway, this is your boy, Don P. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button. Share the video if you like the video. Until the next time, salute.